so hard.
I do want to do a little recap here of the Tower of Babel as uh, I just got off it as you can see. So when I saw the people's videos I thought the scramble going up um, right here, the, the kind of up three quarters up was going to be not too bad. And then the top part where it's like chunky rock, I think it looked like there's a rock wall and that would be the hard part. And also the top when there's a, there's a bridge there, a um, little skinny spot with uh, wild exposed stuff. So I thought that would be challenging too. And I found that's not the case. So for myself, when I go down, I don't really have much fear. I look down, it's pretty easy for me to just put my feet down and go down. I don't have any fear of that. When I go up, I feel like I'm going to fall back and roll down the hill. So I actually have a lot more fear going up things than down. Uh, with that said, the starting part here is really hard. Um, I went up straight up here against this wall and then hugged the wall up. I was able to grab trees and stuff and then and then connect onto the main route, which is what I recommend. Just because going up this loose stuff is just impossible. You step and you slide. It's great for going down. You just hit your heels in it and you slide down. But once you get into the main chute there, it's uh, pretty difficult. You're looking for a rock that isn't gonna slide. You can really push your weight on it and it'll stick. So for that reason you want to stick to the left wall. The left wall you can always put your foot on the wall and then if you have a pole you can plant that somewhere. I mean there's a guy who came up here and he passed me. He didn't have a pole. He just walked right up. He was going about three or four times faster than me. So and then the top part I found would actually be very easy. Just chunky rock steps. It's like stairs. You just climb up. It's not hard at all. There's no wall. You know there's some chunky steps but it's pretty straightforward. It's just the section right before that where it's actually a lot more steep than right here towards the bottom, the bottom half, but then there's some slippery parts. There's a couple spots there I was sliding a bit and get a little bit nervous, but aside from that, it, the top part's pretty easy. Uh, now for the, the very top when you go across, there's one little skinny bit, the, st the start, where you look down on both sides and, you know, it's only about 10 feet long. Uh, once you get past that one, there's a longer one and that one really made me nervous. I almost bailed on going to the actual tower there and I just thought after all that scrambling there's no way I couldn't do it so I actually had to just look at my footsteps before I went there and then um, there's lots of like stuff in the middle like little shrubs and and rocks and stuff to grab onto as long as you just look at your feet and go slow you have to climb up too which is you know for me was not great but I just I just went up it and I just made sure I had my hands on something and I was really grabbing tight. And then uh, coming down once again wasn't as bad for me even though I was looking straight down the, the exposed stuff. Uh, if you do have a fear of looking down and coming down, that's uh, that was pretty gnarly because for the first time I looked down I was like, ooh, and I actually got a little bit nervous, which I don't usually do coming down stuff. So it's just because you look down and you see this skinny little bridge and you see sheer drop offs on both sides. But really you just need to take your time, you can butt scooch it. And um, yeah, but fantastic views up there. Um, one of the harder hikes I've done, definitely the hardest scramble I've done, and um, highly recommend this one.
this is the trickiest part so far. Plant over here. And one good boot hold. You can do a butt scooch. Uh, there we go. Pole. So helpful in these situations. Stop. Stop. Ooh, there's a first flip. Ouch. Almost ready to start my sliding down this first big rock. There's a foothold there, nice. Yeah. Pole stuck. Ah. Not so steep and it's really loose you can just dig your heels in. This is the hardest part. The rocks are bigger. They hurt if they hit your ankles. They're small, they don't. Oh. oh god, this is not fun either.